Welcome to Notification Squad, the show that takes people behind Channel Federator and puts them in front of the camera. My name is Kate. I'm Alyssa, and why is My Hair Academia so good? Uh, I think you mean plus ultra. So Alyssa, My Hero Academia Season 3 has premiered, and I'm watching it every single week because oh. it is amazing. My Saturdays so are 20 times better. 20 <laughs> times better. There's not going to be any spoilers in this video, no. so don't worry about that. But I want to talk about My Hero Academia because, one, I've been watching Season 3, but mm -hmm. also, last night, it premiered on Toonami. Oh! Yeah, the English dub is now airing every week on Toonami. That's, that's amazing. Yeah, so if you haven't seen My Hero, watch it on Saturdays on Toonami at, like, I think it's 11.30, mm -hmm. um, or, you know, binge watch it if oh, you have yeah. Crunchyroll and Verb and yeah. things like that. Yeah, that's where I watch it. I'm mm -hmm. a sub person. So. But I thought it was really interesting that an anime like My Hero is coming to the West and yeah. it's like coming out on Toonami. Yeah. Kind of a big deal. Yeah, because that's where like people back in the day used to watch like One Piece and Dragon Ball Z mm -hmm. and Sailor Moon and mm -hmm. Naruto. Yep. So like when an anime comes to Toonami, yeah. then you know it's going to be mainstream. It's going to be mainstream. Yeah. I totally agree with you. Mm -hmm. And the funny thing is though, um, it's only been around for two years. Like, yeah. It's still relatively new. Yeah, that's true. You know? Yeah. Because I remember I, I started watching at the beginning of season two, right after the yeah. first season. Yeah, me too. So, and now season three. Yeah, it's and so I, I feel like whoever watches Cartoon Network is going to love it. Mm -hmm. Like they'll they'll stay up mm -hmm. and they'll, they'll be like, what is this? Even if they don't watch <laughs> anime, they'll yeah. still love it. Yeah, so I'm really, really excited about it. Um, really, really happy to see that it's getting bigger exposure because I yeah. think the show needs to be like as big as possible it's, and have such a big fan. It's amazing, it but, really is. But what makes it so good? That's, yeah. that's what I want to figure well, out today. Well, Cade, why do you love it so much? I can talk about this all day. <laughs> Okay. I kind of boiled it down to two things that I kind of realized why I like it so much. And they're actually very similar. The first thing is that it obviously reminds me of Naruto. You have these kids like in this academy and they all have like something special about them, sort of like X-Men where everyone's like a little bit unique. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, That Naruto vibe, right? But then on top of that is I literally like every single character. Like even oh, the bad guys. Yeah. I like. I agree. I feel like I have a special bond mm -hmm. with each of them. Yeah. And like if anything happens to any of them, mm -hmm. I'm going to be very upset. They're all nice. They're, they're amazing. All also great. But each of them are so unique. Yeah, so that's why I really like it, but I'm really interested in hearing what draws you to it. Well, I'm not really into action. I'm into more of the slice of life, which is kind of what My Hero Academia is. Right. It's a combination of both. And I also love the multiple storylines because mm -hmm. you have like the main story of Deku and how he's going to be the greatest hero. And like, how yeah, is he that? he says that how? in the first episode. Yeah. Like, like, how is he going to get there? <laughs> yeah. And like, I want to know. But there's also like All Might and how his powers came to be and like the League of Villains, like going yeah. after mostly yeah. just All Might. Mm -hmm. And then you also have these kids who are going to an academy to become heroes like what does that entail See, that's what i really really like about this and naruto i think they do such a good job of building the worlds you get a good sense of the academy and like you get to see like not only class 1a but you get to see class 1b yeah all these like side characters like oh yeah. i want to know more about those guys yeah you know? and it just feels like a very like really interesting world of characters with that being said there there isn't that much filler i mean yeah. that's what you said it's like there is a lot of action but yeah. the pacing is really yeah really i good. feel like there's only been a few filler episodes like, and maybe when, two yeah and when they had them, it was based on the characters. Right. So you're just like, I want to learn more about the characters mm -hmm. that I love, which is pretty much all of them. So it's not too bad when it goes off of the main plot. Yeah. One filler that we got was like, Froppy was on a oh, boat, right? Like, is that correct? Like, if you're going to do a filler like episode, you have to do it on Froppy. Yeah. Like, like how can you not? <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Um, so yeah, there's not really any filler. That being said, like, I feel like my hero can go on for like a really, really, really yeah. long time. I mean, you have a full manga going on. Mm -hmm. and yeah, it is. Yeah, I feel like yeah. it's pretty far. Ahead. Plus, we have a movie coming out and a video game. Sure, which so, I'm definitely getting from so, Nintendo Switch. Like, it's already grown so much. I think the creator did some stuff for the Avengers. Oh, right. right. Yeah, I saw that. So, like, for Avengers Infinity War, they adapted the movie poster and they inserted all, like, the My Hero characters. Yeah, but again, the, the big question here I just want to point out is who is best girl. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, my answer is Gravity Girl. The relationship between her and Deku is just oh, so precious. And it's so, like, funny. Like, if they don't end up together by the end of the series, I will be devastated. I like Momo. What's that? Oh, she, Momo. She creates, like, creates stuff. Yeah, yeah, from her own, like, yeah. body mass yeah, or whatever. It's cool. It's really hard to, like, pick a favorite. Yeah. Um, because everyone is, like, so, like, there's this girl, if you haven't seen it, there's this girl who has like a headphone yeah. jacks like for ears mm -hmm. and then like Froppy obviously is like really yeah. great. Ida's amazing, Bakugo, Todoroki. They're, like, they're all amazing. They're all so cool and unique and you get to explore everyone's like storylines. Yeah, Like you get to much. learn their backstory. So if you haven't seen My Hero Academia, please start watching it. We really want to hear from you what you think about it. Uh, I really think it's going to be like the next biggest anime if it ha isn't already. I'm 
I can't wait. I, I can't honestly, wait for everything that's gonna come out. Part of, this. of me, like, I want it to be like really nicely wrapped up, but I also want it to go on for like hundreds of episodes. Uh, I like, mean, sometimes those are too much for me. Well, I know. Okay, but I started watching Naruto when I was like ten, mm -hmm. like when it first came out that's on Cartoon true. Network, and, and I was watching it and like reading the manga over the years. And when it finally wrapped up, it was really like special and kind of amazing. So I want that with this. I'm waiting for the end of Detective Conan. <laughs> That's been going on for over a thousand episodes. Uh, let us know which character is your favorite too, because yeah. I'm very curious. Yeah, um, Froppy. Everybody's just gonna every, say every, that. The whole comment section is gonna <laughs> oh, be Oh, duh, duh, duh. Um, well, I think that's it for discussion, but I think we have another exciting game yes. that we're gonna be playing. This one's, what, super power theme? Yeah, it's a super game. We are playing another round of Would You oh, Rather. Yeah. I like this one. This we are gonna do Would You Rather hmm. superpowers. Oh, okay. So, okay. Are we doing points again? Yeah, we yes. are gonna do points, but you have to remember, it's the best argument, so. <laughs> oh, I got this. Would you rather have the ability to fly naturally, like Superman, or with the help of a machine like Iron Man? Okay, here we go. Are you still thinking about yours? Yeah, go, just go. I, I have just mine. Go. I, have I think mine. I have something. So mine is, I would pick the Iron Man suit. Initially, I was going to say natural, but I'm going to pick Iron Man suit style because I don't want people asking for rides all the time. I don't want people like bumming me and be like, dude, you can just fly, like go get Shake Shack for us. And I'm like, no, I left my suit at home. I think I'm gonna do the natural flying ability, which is kind of like the opposite of your uh -huh. reasoning where it's but like- you wanna help people. No, well, no, 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 I, well, yes. But like, what if I need to go somewhere right. like at the immediate moment? You just go anywhere you want at that exact moment. You don't have to like run home and get your suit. But your life is like that right now though. Like, you know, you. You can't fly right now, so it would just be like that. Yeah, but no, if I can actually fly, you I can, can just go. You can go fly everywhere? Yeah, you can just go anywhere Community you want. would be easier. Yes, for me it would be. Probably. Mm. So, yeah, I think I would do the natural flying. Cade just wants to right. go pick up Shake Shack faster. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. yeah. But for no one else. But for yeah. just myself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and Alyssa wants Neither. shorter commute. Yeah, conveniently yeah, it's fly. It's more practical, yeah. All right, so Alyssa. Alyssa gets the point, okay. Alyssa gets the point. Great, awesome. All right. Would you rather be a trained super assassin surrounded by superheroes and still be put in the same amount of danger as them with no superpowers? Or be a superhero but an outcast constantly having to prove you're a good guy? Either Hawkeye or Captain America? Basically. <laughs> or Widow, Black Widow. I feel like if I was surrounded by a bunch of super friends, I would constantly feel like I'm tagging along, okay. you know? I wouldn't feel like I was part of the group. I feel like we'd be missing out okay. a little bit, you know? FOMO. Yeah. Super FOMO. <laughs> I guess I would rather just be the one with powers in society, and I would just try and do funny stuff with them. I would do the be surrounded by the superheroes. You want super friends? Yeah. I mean, it's kind of like if you were Robin and you're in the Teen mm -hmm. Titans, you're the only one that doesn't have powers. Oh, that's true. I mean, Cyborg it has like cool. super enhancements, but like Robin was taught like yeah. assassin, like martial arts, and you don't have yeah. superpowers. I, I would be the Robin of the group. I just like, I feel bad not knowing two languages, you know? And like, that's just every day. The winner for this one, Cade, I gotta say, funny, funny superpowers. Yes, thank you. Would you rather have a really mundane power like the ability to clean your teeth on demand? Not bad. Or not get your mouth burned when you eat something too hot? Ooh, oh, I like that one. Yeah, because I do that, that one a lot. Oh, that happens to me a lot because I love yeah. my coffee and I want it hot That's right true. away. That's true, we are going to pick the same Pizza. one then. Pizza. I literally burn my mouth all the time. Yes. Like ramen. Yes. Every time I Soups. have it. What a useless power, though. But it's great. Like, if you had other super friends, like, what well, do you do? if someone my mouth doesn't accidentally burn. burns you, yeah. I don't know. Can, like, Can you stop a bomb? Can you, like... Oh, or a volcano. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But then, you know, because then it's like lava gets into your stomach. Not if you just, like, you know... Oh. Can you like hold it in your mouth and like spit it out? Yeah, probably. You... Like if you put it in a cup. Yes. Yes. I'm just gonna sit there scooping um, yeah. lava <laughs> and, then spit it out. and stopping the volcano. Yeah. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna yes, do the, the burning. Mouth. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> These reasons are very weird. <laughs> I'm not sure it will work that way, especially because I said the word mundane. Can so... we stop forest fires though? Like we could probably stop forest fires. By biting the leaves. The By the eating leaves. the fire. Every leaf, you just bite it. No. That was not what I had in mind, well, but this yeah, is sure, we why went. not? It's would you rather, would it's you would rather. you. And we would, I am me. You guys are <laughs> about the environment. You, Cade really does. We're cycle Only kids. you and me <laughs> can prevent, prevent forest, forest fires. fires. All right, you both get a point for teaming yeah. up and becoming a super team. That's what I talk about.
<laughs> Would right. you rather have the ability to talk to animals, but they only tell you their personal problems? Oh, that's amazing. Okay, keep, keep talking. <laughs> I really like that though. Or you can turn into animals, but you can't talk, you just use animal sounds. So for example, if you turn into a cat, oh. you can only meow. I'm gonna do the animal one when you turn into animals. So you're gonna be an animorph? Yes. You just wanna turn into animals? What, what good is that gonna do you then though? Then you can hang out with animals. Could become a really famous biologist or whatever. Yes. I, you can learn so much about animals. I don't want to do that. This is what I would do. No. I would talk to animals. I would love to talk to animals, but I don't care about their personal problems. But it would be so interesting, <laughs> and you could make a TV show out of it. Yeah, but what you if you get... You could make a movie out of it. You could find out why cats are terrible. Yeah, but then what if you get like a really chatty like toucan or something? Well, you don't get a toucan. <laughs> don't talk to a toucan. You get that like chicken that's like, all right, let me tell you about my day. And then like you sit there for like a five chicken? hours. Yes, I'm just naming animals. We can find out if goldfishes really have memories of a goldfish. Oh my god. I mean, it's cool because you can fly, I guess, and <laughs> yes. swim and hold your breath. Yes. I am going to go with Kate's answer because um, I think even though it's personal problems, it could be fun. I think it'd be really interesting. I want to still be one. Can I be a penguin? Good job, great game. Thank you, thank you Jess, what a wonderful game. Thank you so much for watching Notification Squad. Leave a comment below of what superpower you want to have. And be sure to tune in to next week's Notification Squad. It is the season four finale. Wait, what, already? Yes, I know. Oh my God. We've made it. <laughs> and remember, Frederator, Frederator loves, loves you. you.